Well, Sarah Palin is flexing her political muscles again. And we've got Neil King to tell us all about this from the Wall Street Journal in Washington, D.C. And there he is. Thank you very much, sir. She's doing something a little bit different this time. Tell us what it is. Well, you know, in 2010, she jumped into a ton of races, about 65 altogether. Uh, and about half those candidates went on to win. And she caused a lot of, you know, kerfuffle by jumping into some races like the Christine O'Donnell one in Delaware that kind of came back in the party's face. This time around, she's being a lot more judicious. She's only backed nine candidates so far. She's been very good at her timing. She got in on the Ted Cruz race in Texas, for instance, at just the right time, uh, helped him along in the first primary bout, uh, and then campaigned with him last week. And of course, he went on to win an upset victory on Tuesday against the big establishment car uh, candidate, Dewhurst. She's done similar things in a number of other states, perhaps most notably in Nebraska, in a race there where she pretty much single-handedly uh, picked uh, Deb Fisher, a candidate kind of out of nowhere, who then went on to win the GOP primary. And, you know, she's now going on to Missouri on Friday to campaign with Sarah Steelman, a former state treasurer, who's also running in a multi-candidate uh, Senate primary, and we'll have to see what happens there. But people are kind of pointing out that she's being more, more judicious and uh, more pointed in who she's going to back. So is is she she doing the the thing where people say she's backing winners and not just making making winners by backing them? She's picking who she thinks will win, or is there something different? Is there a more subtlety there? Well, I think that's a good way to put it. She's also weighing in, you know, as it so happens in states where. In the end, particularly in Texas, the person who wins the primary is pretty much uh, a guaranteed of winning the general election because it's such a red state. I think that isn't necessarily the case in Indiana where she got in on that race, but I think that'll probably also tip uh, to the Republican similar sort of situation in Nebraska. Um, so it's not likely to be the sort of thing that we saw in Nevada last time or in Delaware. Mm. Now, she, she's often been thought of, uh, perhaps correctly, perhaps not, as a, a divisive character. Is she still um, d divisive among some people? Among some people? Well, I th yeah, I mean, that's the role that she relishes. You know, when she was down in Texas, she was, uh, you know, assuring the people at the campaign rallies with Ted Cruz that he wouldn't go to Washington and, you know, suck up to the cocktail crowd there. And she loves to take it to the uh, GOP establishment, just as she does to uh, Democrats and doesn't mind saying a lot of fiery things about Barack Obama. Uh, you know, the thing that's interesting at the moment, the question that's out there, we're now in the month of August, there's no sign at all as to whether the Romney camp will invite Sarah Palin uh, to the, you know, big powwow in Tampa at the end of the month. And her not being there would be pretty noteworthy uh, for considering, you know, that's the party's big convention. 